Hello, welcome back to Call Your Paul. Right, on this episode we're going to be doing pipe returns. As you can see, I'm just marking up with my laser level now. I've got my pipe for pond returns from here. I ordered them yesterday morning and they've turned up today. So that's brilliant delivery. Right, what I'm going to do is four holes, four, they're 86 mil holes for the two inch coupler to go through. That would be flat on the wall, five glassed over, and the hole would be cut out. Okay, so I'll do a little bit and I'll catch up with you. Right, so I've got my four dots marked up in green marker. So what I'll do now, I'll drill pilot holes through the wall and then I'll get out my core drill and I'll show you how we're gonna do this. Right, so I've got my four pilot holes drilled. Got a 78mm diamond core cutter here. And I'm gonna start drilling these holes out. Okay. Right, so I've got the first one drilled. It's taken a good couple of hours to get that one done. So I think it's gonna be maybe a hole, maybe a couple of holes a night. I've already, already lost a tooth off the core. So yeah, not going the best with these holes already, but we'll see how we go. Right, so it's a different day. I've just been down to hire company in my local town and I've hired myself a decent core drill. Hopefully I can get these done a little bit quicker now with the proper drill. Alright, so I've just finished the second hole off. This drill is a lot faster. It's going to help me out a lot. Just going to get the pilot holes drilled a little bit bigger with the SDS. So the pipe for the core can fit in and then we will get back to doing these other two holes just up here and then two more over there okay all right so my four holes are now drilled got two more to do over the top here it's definitely a lot quicker with that drill it's taken me about half an hour or so to do each core now instead of a couple of hours wouldn't recommend someone who hasn't used a core drill before to go rent one because you do really need to know what you're doing. Right, so got myself the four holes drilled over there and two over here, two for the backish river over here, K1 chamber on the right and the jack mat on the left there. I've cleaned up the floor, give it a nice sweep and a back up and a scrape. So we're now ready for the insulation and then we can get the pipes in the wall and the returns solvent welded over. Hello, welcome back to Call Your Paul. Right, in this episode we're going to insulate the walls and get the square frame cut for the window all ready for fiberglass in. So I'll show you the walls ready. Right, I'll scrape down all the walls, scrape to our floor, vacuumed it all up, got my two holes drilled for the Backy River return and the two on the right hand side for the K1 chamber and the two on the left hand side from the jack mat chamber. Cleaned out the bottom drain, taken water out of that. So we're all ready for, fight for the insulation and fiberglass. Right, so we've got the two inch pond return here with a bit of pipe stuck in it. Gonna pop it through the hole here now. My dad's gonna hold the other side and we're gonna get these glued on. As you can see, it's now insulated. I've stuck these two on over here with some foam. So let's get those done now. Right, okay, so I've got my pond returns in now. They're glued into the wall with adhesive. I've filled around the edges. I've sanded them so nice and smooth. And then I've taped them so that no fish can harm themselves on them. Okay, so they're all in over there. What I'll do, the other side is I'll have a short piece of two inch pipe with an elbow, possibly a rubber elbow, so I can turn it around and a K1 cage on. Okay. 
Right, so that's all the pond returns completed now. So I'll get it fiberglassed and then we'll carry on with the filters, etc. And we'll see you on the next one. So if you've enjoyed this video, if you want to see anything else about how I've done my pond returns or if you've got any questions, pop them down below and I'll try and answer them for you. If you like the video, please like and hit subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. And big sturgeons just there, as you can see. Underneath that cart. There's um, some big koi in this pond here.